Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche. Hope you're well. Following on from my v yesterday's video, which had over 5,000 views and lots and lots of comments, so thank you for that, I thought I'll do a video on two practical topics, right? The first practical topic, section one, is all about people that, that are coming up, their mortgages are coming up, whether they're buy-to-lets or, or residential mortgages, they're coming up in the next year, what they can do, some of the steps they can take right now, some of the uh, practical conversations they can have with their existing lenders and what they should be doing to prepare. So that's section one. Section two is all about first time buyers, next time buyers and property investors looking to buy property and why I think it's actually a really good time to buy. Yes, that's what I've said. I think it's a really good time to buy and you could take advantage of this market. Okay. And you know, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Take some time to review some of my videos. Take my, you know, I've talked about how lenders fund themselves, okay, uh, in the last couple of videos that I did. We've talked about the market conditions. I've talked about the buy to let sector and how that could be a real major change. And no one's really talked about this, okay? So I'll catch you on the video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and comment. Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche. Are you bored of the news yet? Are you bored about the crash and interest rates and everybody telling you about mortgage terms and mortgage? Everyone's an expert now. I've been talking about this for years. I've been talking about um, the way these this stuff can, can happen quite quickly and some of the fundamentals behind it. But now all of a sudden, everybody's an expert on this. Uh, and um, you know, you only have to put all the news channels on uh, to hear you know, from, from estate agents now, they've become to economists, to this, to that. But I tell you something, I've been doing mortgages for a long, long time, and I have actually uh, been through a crash. And this is not a crash. Um, this is a confidence uh, problem. Um, so all the doom and gloom out there, I'm telling you now, I've had more inquiries about mortgages today and yesterday than the whole of last week. Why is that? Because people see it as an opportunity. There are lots of first time buyers I am doing mortgages for right now that are continuing to progress on applications. There are people that are phoning me and getting their ducks in order to buy buy to lets. So there are opportunities. So let's talk about those opportunities. Let's talk about, instead of the doom and gloom, okay, let's talk about some of the practical things that could be done right now to protect you from a mortgage perspective and also for, for people that are first time buyers looking to buy. So let's look at the mortgage perspective. The people that are their mortgages are coming up for the next year, there are options you can do. So when you speak to an independent mortgage broker, like Niche Advice, but there are many good ones out there, okay? Um, they've got access to the whole of the market, right? So at the moment, these lenders have withdrawn their products, but it's a short term thing because they're not sure. I mean, frankly, the government don't know what they're doing. The Bank of England, are, looking to stabilize things so i think that's a short-term thing i think it will level itself out it's not because they haven't got the money the difference is in 2007 2008 they literally lenders were shut in shop and um, i've done various videos on this because i was there and i worked for a corporate at the time that dealt with many many people many lenders and literally they would get a phone call from the state saying we're no no, no longer lending that's it pack up shop that's not the case here, right? What they're doing is they're not. They're worried about giving cheap money and then being stuck on that cheap money uh, for a long term. So what they want to do is price accordingly. So it's a different scenario, okay? So I know everyone's got on the bandwagon. I know. Uh, I know. I've been. To, to, yeah. I mean, I've been warning people about this coming, right? But now you see it from people that are just, you know, they're just sensationalizing it. They just want to get news. They just want to get views, okay? And it's not about views. Uh, my channel is not the biggest channel out there. But what I, will, what I try to do is give information to people based on my own experience. And I'm telling you now, I've had more inquiries today and yesterday and the office phone calls about new deals than the whole of last week, right? And that's because um, people want to buy. So let's talk about it. So the guys that are coming up for renewals, um, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, find out what your existing lender is going to give you. That's important, okay? You could start the process off six months before, right? With some of the lenders, six months before. So you either find out what it is, or if you're working with a mortgage broker, you ask the mortgage broker to do so for you. The benefit of going by the mortgage broker is the mortgage broker can take what they've given to you 
and then compare it to what else is out there okay don't just go blindly and take what it is because there may be other options out there sure generally when you do a product transfer with a lot of lenders it's a lot more simpler in terms of affordability checks no valuation checks and so forth but that could also um you know hinder hinder you because you you might be able to get better better products out there lenders still need to lend people people forget this sort of stuff you know they're they're stopping lending and all of that they just they're just trying to figure things out lenders still need to lend so there will be options now if your mortgage is coming up for uh, if it's coming up so find out what you're, you've been given look at various options can you ask your lender if you're struggling with it ask your lender what they can do to help you okay don't just forget about it and put the paperwork under under your bed speak to them if you're struggling with affordability if you want them to give you options now what are the options well there were certain options that they did for the pandemic so can they give you a, a repayment um, to an interest only option for a little while if so ask them does that affect your credit profile that's important okay so one of the things is when you're asking the lender directly if they can give you some options what you need to find out what the implications are and you do not want them uh, having an adverse effect on your credit report so when you're asking them for various things ask them is this going to affect my credit profile will this have you know affect me getting a mortgage in the future with yourself or somebody else okay because some of those payment breaks that they will give you some of the options they'll give you will affect your credit report okay so you want to ask them but they can do um, they, they, they can make exceptions obviously so can you switch your repayment mortgage to an interest only short term until you go through a blip maybe if you've lost your job or your income's dropped or so forth so keep that dialogue with that lender so you could do that can you put some of it on an interest only can you stretch the term for example you know you were on a 20 year term or 10 year term can you push that along a little bit uh, with, with the term so to make things a little bit more affordable short term do they have a tracker product that they can stick you on there once your fixed rates are, are out um, that gives you the advantage of being on a tracker product preferably with no early repayment charge so when the market does stabilize when the rates do stabilize you can then move off okay or fix in with that lender longer term so trackers will come in at the moment there's not that many out there um, I think there will be an emergence of trackers look at uh, what your um, uh, obviously property valuations um, see if the loan to value has changed so you might have gone on a 90% loan to value deal your loan to value would have changed which means you may have access to better products um, some lenders you see what they do is they do an automated valuation so uh, say you did a mortgage five year fix it's come up now your market value of the property says five hundred thousand pounds but their system still got it at 400 okay so they're only basing their product on 400 that loan to value 400 where if you make it on 500 you may be able to get a better rate somewhere else these are the things that practical things mortgage brokers can help you with okay and they've got flexibility with the lenders and I do believe the lending market will come back and there are lenders out there don't get me wrong it's not it's not shut shop I've had HMO inquiries today I've had um, multi multi unit block inquiries today we've had many first-time buyers um, looking to purchase joint borrower sole proprietor they're all out there right it's still out there and it will come back right now let's look at um, also the, uh, the the things that you could do around affordability lenders are going to come out and they have some and I've talked about this there are some lenders that will stretch affordability if you're not looking to borrow additional amounts there are some lenders if you're on a buy to let they will do the same thing if you're not if you're looking to do a like for like there's a lesser stress test level for buy to lets that you're just swapping along so there are solutions out there you need to speak to a mortgage broker and see what you know specifically is for you sometimes on the threads that I get um, people are trying to ask me for advice I can't give advice on YouTube okay it's it, you know it's individual so you need to get in touch with us if you do want advice and then we can give you advice this is just for information this is just so when you are speaking to a mortgage broker whether it's us or whether it's me or whether it's somebody else you've got an idea what to speak about and just basically it's just education purposes um, now when we're talking about first-time buyers right and I touched on this in my last video yes you're gonna take a hit on the rate no doubt about it okay if you were a first-time buyer six months ago and you're a first-time buyer now you're taking a big hit on the rate 
and you're also taking a big hit on your affordability okay how much they're willing to lend all right so those are the bad points what's good out of this okay so there are some good points out of this you can literally get a mortgage broker to work out what your rate is going to be what your monthly repayment is going to be what your associated costs are going to be obviously there's been a stamp duty change so that will help as well so let's assume let's just say that you're going to be fifteen thousand pounds worse off in the next two years because of these interest rate rises or ten thousand pounds or whatever it is okay let's just make it ten okay you're going to be ten thousand pounds worse off now than buying six months ago however are you going to get ten thousand pounds off that property now because the market's a little bit more wobbly i think lender you know you only have to turn on the news and you'll know the market is wobbly so don't run for the hills just like everybody else is okay because there are nuggets there are gems out there so you do your figures and you go right okay am i going to save more than 10 15 20 000 pounds because i'm now willing to buy in this climate okay if you can and if you feel confident enough to do so and if you feel secure enough to do so then why wouldn't you because there is an opportunity there and then you may want to fix in for two years if you want to be more confident you may want to fix in for five years and take work that calculation out for the five years but you should be able to get better deals you will get better deals I've seen reductions now already there's reductions happening okay uh, one of the clients that we've had here um, okay it's a, it's a high value property 1.2 million picking up for 1.1 okay in a matter of a week so it's happening okay so people are and and those landlords that have had their properties out there um, for a while um, they're going to now listen to their estate agent saying well, I don't think you're going to get this they're not going to chance it anymore right so you're going to have and, and this is another quite uh, trend that I've seen in the last couple of days I've had people the general where mortgage brokers have made their money and estate agents have made their money right and this is this is truth now right where we've made our money is a lot of clients come to us and say I want to move out of this flat to a house but I don't want to sell the flat I'm going to rent that flat out so for me as a mortgage broker that's one mortgage on the flat one mortgage on the purchase right and then the estate agents will get you know potentially one purchase and they'll rent out the flat I've had several conversations with people especially if it's in London okay and I'll tell you why because the way London works on the rental calculation front they were hoping to pull out a little bit of money maybe 50 100k from their flat to put down as a deposit on the onward purchase which is normally a lot more expensive so let's assume the flats worth 350 the onward purchase is worth 700 they were going to pull out 100 150k and then buy the other property remember they've got to pay the additional three percent stamp duty so they would work that out the problem is now with the way rental calculations work those flats are not viable fund they can't take the money out and it's not that viable to keep especially if the if the mortgages are quite high if they're lower then it makes sense to keep it long-term investment and so forth right and that's fine we've done buy to let remortgages is actually called the let to buy mortgage and we've done that however if they can't pull the money out then that jeopardizes the onward purchase so they can't actually pull out that money to do the deposit so several conversations I've had when I've sent them the quotes they've said we still committed to buy because we, we we need to buy okay we can't we can't live in this flat anymore we need to buy but we've got to sell so if I've had and we're more I'm a mortgage I'm a small mortgage broker firm okay our firm is small but if I've had several conversations in the last couple of days rest assured other people are having that conversation so there will be opportunities if you are a first-time buyer because that's a first-time buyer property they're going to start coming up not necessarily the the next time buyer stuff because they're going to look to move on but all of a sudden it's going to have a knock-on effect now what these people and the BBC's and all, they're just talking about mortgage rates and they're just running off the same sheet that they get given right but the bigger threat to this market is rental calculations not stacking up for landlords mark my words take a screenshot whatever right the biggest threat to this market is not what the ratio are right now because I think that's a short-term thing that's a confidential thing 
The biggest threat is rental calculations for landlords not stacking up. Because what that will do is landlords will have to make a decision. And also the tax changes that have happened over the last few years for landlords. If you are a landlord and you're sitting there and you're going, right, I've been heavily taxed now uh, uh, because most of the people have set up uh, limited companies only in the last few years. So most of the stock that was historically owned is owned in personal names, which means they can't offset the interest uh, relief on the mortgages. So at the moment, they're paying more tax. They were banking on the property prices going up, which they have done, to be fair. They've done very well out of it. But are they going to go up in the next couple of years? So they're getting hit on their tax on their rental income. They're getting hit on the property prices, which are not going to increase the way it did. They're getting hit on the mortgage rates if they have got a renewal on mortgage rates. And almost certainly they're paying double their mortgage rates now. Okay, if not triple. And they've got the worry of these tenants, maybe with the tenants losing. Guys, I'm telling you now, the, the legislation at the moment in regards to getting tenants out, non-paying tenants, uh, trespasses, uh, all of that sort of stuff is really, really hard for landlords, right? So they're looking at that and going, is it worth it? Now, with the novice landlords, the ones that are going to convert their residential into a they don't necessarily know all of that, right? But with the professional guys, they do. So let's see how that works out. Because unless there is a rental calculation change, and I think it needs to happen, unless there's a rental calculation change or loosening of criteria or lenders innovating uh, something out there, that's a bigger threat than what we're seeing right now. And guys, I, told, I, I predicted this one a long time ago, and I think that's, that's going to be the fundamental problem. So if you're a first-time buyer, I'll be jumping in because not necessarily now. I would do my research and stuff because that, those, that stock was not available ever to you in the last few years. That stock's now becoming available, right? So there is going to be a stage where the landlords, obviously the more profitable properties they're going to keep hold of, but the ones that are not profitable which is pretty much anything in London <laughs> now, unless you've got a very low loan to value, um, it's under threat. Or if they've got very good gearing and you know very long-term fixes, then they could probably withhold the, the storm. Um, so that's what I think. Um, let me know what you think. You guys, first of all, I've had some really good comments on my last video. Honestly, the best one is, the best one is a chap here who says, thank you very much about all of the other bits and pieces that you've talked about but I need to bring my moustache back. That was the funniest thing. He goes, you're still, you know, you need to bring your moustache back. I don't know what you're doing without, your, with, without the moustache. I'm trying to keep faith here. But I've had some really good comments, some really good suggestions of people as well. Um, some, some of the points, you know, we got, we got one lady here who's going off with mortgage brokers and estate agents ripping people off. I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but I hope I haven't ripped anybody off. Um, but, uh, you know, you've got, you've got the freedom to make your mind, you know, here and, and let me know what you guys think and everybody can share in, in the comments. So I do read all of them and I have tried to reply to every single one. Of one. Um, it, is, uh, it is funny time, but I think the hysteria, um, it, it will blow over. I think it will blow over. Uh, and I think the Bank of England are going to do more. I know I've seen them intervene this morning, but I think there will be more more coming from them to stabilize the market because I don't think it'll be enough. Um, but yeah, don't 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 worry too much. Don't panic. There, you know there are there are options out there, uh, and the worst thing you want to do is panic and make a wrong decision in this market. So sit back for a little while and don't panic. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.